How many of you have adopted a pet in the last 10 years? A friend of mine adopted a dog from an animal shelter five years ago. Her name was Bella. She was a pit bull husky mix and she was the sweetest dog I have ever met. However, two years ago, Bella had to be put down. When my friend and her mother bought Bella home, her father saw an opportunity. The man entered Bella in dog fights regularly behind his daughter's back and used her to make some extra money. Bella was strong, but she was a sweet-natured dog and often refused to fight. Not only was she viciously torn apart by the other dogs in the ring, but she was often punished for losing. By the time my friend finally figured out what her dad was doing, Bella had suffered from puncture wounds, broken bones that had not been set, and a crack in her spinal cord that had paralyzed her back left legs. As the years progressed, the, paral the paralysis began to spread up her back and in her other leg. My friend tried to get her treatment, but Bella needed surgery. This wasn't something her family could afford. Eventually, the paralysis became so dangerous to Bella's health that my friend had no choice but to put Bella down to avoid the possibility of an, inev of an inevitable painful death. Domestic dog fighting is one of the most heinous forms of animal cruelty. Fights can last just a few minutes or several hours, and both animals may suffer injuries including puncture wounds, lacerations, blood loss, crushing injuries, and broken bones. This leads to crippled and disfigured animals. And the cold hard truth is that while dogfighting might not seem as common as it was before, it's still a huge problem in our local community. According to the Humane Society, there are an estimated 40,000 people active in dogfighting in the United States each year, despite the fact that dogfighting is a felony in all 50 states. It's sad because the animals themselves don't have a figurative voice of their own. They rely on us to speak up for them. Yet here we are, 2021, 107 years after the very first dog fight. And every day, dogs are still milled to the hospital on a stretcher. This is the type of issue people turn a blind eye to because they believe they don't have the authority to stand up and help or even worse, that the animals themselves aren't worth the effort. Life is life, whether in a cat or dog or man. There is no difference there between a cat or a man. The idea of difference is a human conception for man's own advantage. By Sri Aurobindo. Never believe that animals suffer less than humans. Pain is the same for them that it is for us. Even worse, because they cannot help themselves like we can. By Lewis J. Community. The animals have no voice, so I will be the one to speak up for them. And I hope that I will inspire many more to speak up after me. If you suspect dog fighting in your own community, alert local law enforcement. Urge your local officials to contact the HSUS, Human Society of the United States, for practical tools, advice, and assistance. The HSUS has a standing reward, now doubled to 5000 for information leading to a conviction of illegal dogfighting. People don't believe that most issues could be solved if we all just made a stand. So let's work to do so. Let's make a stand and speak out for our four-legged companions when they can't. And let's create a future where dogs like Bella, who have hurt and struggled and somehow still managed to love so greatly, can live their lives safe and happy.